Hi friends. Let's begin drawing the water treatment plant experiment. First, start by drawing a large rectangle. Then, draw four smaller rectangles. Make sure the corners of all these rectangles are slightly curved instead of sharp. Next, draw two more rectangles below the ones you just created. Keep following along as we complete the drawing step by step. Now, draw the pipeline that connects the natural source of water to the treatment plant. To do this, draw a pair of parallel lines. Follow along. This pipeline represents the natural water source, from which the water flows into the treatment plant. We will now illustrate how the water is treated step by step. In the first stage of water intake, the water passes through a bar screen. So, let's start by drawing a rectangular valve. Next to it, we will draw the bar screen. Then, let's draw a cup-shaped unit where coagulants are added to the pipeline. Coagulants are chemicals added to the water to help small dirt particles and contaminants clump together into larger particles known as flocks. This process makes it easier to remove unwanted contaminants, helping to clean the water effectively. Meanwhile, we will draw the pipelines for the next stages of the process. These pipelines will connect the rectangles representing different treatment units. Next, we will draw cup-shaped units, or addition of chemicals to the water. So, let's draw two more cup-like units. Now, we will add the storage unit, where the cleaned water is collected. This storage unit is a large tank with a high water holding capacity. Finally, we will complete the diagram by drawing a curved pipeline leading to a tap. This represents the final stage, where the treated water is distributed to the community. Use a larger curved shape, like two parallel lines, to connect the upper rectangle with the lower rectangle. This represents the transition from one stage of the process to the next. Next, draw a tap to indicate that the treated water is ready for distribution. Don't forget to add a raindrop falling from the tap. To represent the storage tank, we will add a curved design, as storage tanks typically have a rounded appearance. We will also add a stand beneath it. Starting from the lower rectangle, draw wavy lines inside all four small rectangles to represent water. Now, moving back to the larger rectangle, this represents the natural water source. To illustrate this, we will add elements such as a large lake or an ample water supply. To enhance the natural scenery, we will draw mountains, greenery, meadows, and the sky. For the first screening process, we will add vertical lines on the bar screen to make it visually clear. Now, let's start coloring. I am using a sky blue shade to color the water, and for more depth, I am also using a dark Prussian blue.
Once the water is colored, we will use green to represent the grasslands. I will also use the same green shade to highlight the treatment plant and the cup-shaped units where chemicals are added at each stage of the process. I realized I missed one more cup-shaped unit, which represents the polymer. You need to draw it inside the second rectangle. Make sure to color the polymer unit in green as well. For the pipelines, I am using a light sky blue color to indicate the flow of water from natural sources into the treatment plant and through to the distribution tap. Now, let's color the orange storage tank. Next, I am marking how the chemicals are added to the water. To do this, I will use downward pointing arrows to indicate where and how the chemicals are introduced into the pipelines. I will also draw additional arrows to illustrate the step-by-step -step process of water treatment. Please follow along. These arrows should be arranged in a clockwise direction. For the filtration process, I am using a white gel pen to add wavy lines inside the filtration rectangle. This helps indicate the movement of water through the filtration stage. Additionally, I am using the same white pen to mark the coagulation process inside the first rectangle. Next is the polymer stage. I am adding arrow marks inside the polymer section. In the fourth rectangle, I am adding irregular shapes to indicate the presence of bacteria and germs in the water. To show that the water is being cleaned in this process, I am using a white pen to strike them out. Kindly follow along. For the background, I am coloring the mountains with dark gray and using a blue pencil to make the sky look vibrant. Now, I am going to label the different parts of the water treatment process, coagulant, intake, coagulation, polymer, sedimentation, filtration, disinfection, anti-corrosion, disinfectant, storage, distribution. Thank you for watching.